Hi, good morning. I'm Andrew here, and I just want to say a few words on the subject of uh, the, the so called loose leaf pyramid tea bags. Uh, these things. And I've got some here which we've been given. Um, and I've got to say, the tea is really, really good. Okay, we, we tasted one of these yesterday. So I'm just going to brew one up. And I'm not going to necessarily show you what the brand, you, I don't think you'll know the brand name. But there we are. You know the thing, yeah? So, Carlos, why don't you come in really close and we'll just show everyone what's there. So we've got a leaf tea inside there. And I've tasted this already, and this is a really nice uh, China Kongu tea. It's really a fabulous black tea, and you can see there's rosebuds in there, and there's rose oil, and it's really lovely. It's a, it's a really, really good tea. So, let's pour some water on there. And let that brew for a bit. Okay, so that's now, that's now brewing. Now, that is a good quality tea but there's a big problem with these tea bags and the problem is this I want to show you this this is one I prepared earlier I don't know if you can see but look how tightly packed that is that tea is absolutely squashed in there because when the tea brews it swells it absorbs water and it swells and that could not be more tightly jammed inside now, one thing that tea wants to brew well is space. And there's a really good invention for making loose leaf tea. And it's called a teapot, right? I'm not reinventing the wheel here, am I? A teapot is the best possible way of brewing loose leaf tea. So if you want loose leaf tea, use a teapot and be a little bit patient because this is not nearly brewed yet and nor will it be for another few minutes because it's loose leaf tea. So the best way to brew that is in a teapot, not in a tea bag, which is far too small. And if you bought it loose leaf and you put it in a teapot, it would be about a fifth of the price, maybe often a tenth of the price. So you're paying through the nose for something that is not, of, is not gonna give you the best possible cup of tea with the tea that you've got. Which brings me on <coughs> to the next point which is that these tea bags are incredibly expensive to pack. Okay, the companies that make these, take, this is why we don't make them, it costs an absolute fortune to put them in these tea bags. And the only possible way of saving money is to use really poor quality tea. Now, as I said before, this is a good quality tea. Okay, the one I'm brewing up here is really good. Generally speaking, that is not the case. The ones you buy in the supermarket in England, in, in the UK, are, so far as I can see so far, of really quite poor quality. This is the type of tea bag we make, as many of you will be familiar with, just a normal, old fashioned, traditional tea bag. And it's cost effective to put the tea in. And as I've said many a time, you can buy good quality tea in all the different grades. This is our red berry burst. Do you want to zoom in there, Carlos? So yes, it's a small grade of tea. Small enough for us to get it into the tea bag and for you to be able to brew it reasonably quickly. But the product is of good quality, irrespective of the fact that the, sm the size of the, of the particles is small. So, I say again, if you want a leaf tea, Buy leaf tea at a sensible price from a sensible tea merchant such as ourselves and brew it in a teapot. If you want a quick cup of tea that is going to be in a bag and you're going to brew it in the mug, use a traditional tea bag with good quality small grade tea in it, again, such as we supply. And there are others too, you know, there are other very good companies as well. So that is my little rant. At the end of all of that, this is nearly brewed. So what is the advantage of that over a teapot? I would have had a better cup of tea in exactly the same amount of time at a fraction of the price had I used a teapot. And as I say, this is a good tea. And generally speaking, these, these tea bags do not contain good quality tea. Uh, so there we are, rant over. Thank you very much for paying attention. Um, and do please keep visiting my 
blog, um, all about t.co.uk forward slash t hyphen news. And of course the website, if you would like to buy tea bags containing good quality tea at a sensible price. Thanks.